India's ambition takes flight. A $2 billion mega project, the Navi Mumbai International Airport, is poised to transform the nation's aviation landscape. This behemoth is designed to handle a staggering 60 million passengers annually. Its sprawling runways capable of accommodating 80 flights per hour. Think of it, engineers literally moved mountains, leveling hills and diverting the Olwi River to pave the way. But what makes this airport truly revolutionary is its seamless integration with the futuristic Mumbai Hyderabad High Speed Rail Line, spanning a mind-boggling 767 kilometers. This is more than just an airport, it's a catalyst for economic explosion. But the ambition of this scale doesn't come without hurdles. So, will India see this audacious vision through to completion? Mumbai, India's heart of commerce and Bollywood dreams, has hit a major snag. Its main airport is bursting at the seams. Flights are delayed for hours, passengers are frustrated, and the strain on infrastructure is reaching a breaking point. The situation has gotten so bad that airfares on some routes have nearly doubled overnight. Here's the problem in numbers. The airport was built to handle a certain amount of traffic, but demand has skyrocketed. Travelers and businesses alike rely on Mumbai for connections, but the sheer volume of flights has turned the airport into a bottleneck. Airlines were forced to cancel over 200 flights per week, leaving destinations like Hubli and Jabalpur completely cut off from Mumbai by air. The impact is staggering. Picture the average airfare on some routes spiking by over 190%, hitting travelers and businesses hard. And this isn't just about the cost. The ripple effects are felt across India's economy. Delays and cancellations hurt business deals, derail tourism plans, and throw a wrench into the country's ambition for seamless connectivity. So why did it get this bad? Experts point to a combination of factors. The airport, quite simply, reached its maximum capacity. Limited space, coupled with airlines squeezing in every flight they could, led to a chaotic gridlock in the skies above Mumbai. Things got so hectic that delays of up to an hour became the norm. While airlines and airport operators bear some responsibility for this mess, the root of the problem lies in India's booming population and a surge in air travel demand. The old airport simply wasn't built to handle the needs of modern Mumbai. It's like trying to squeeze a river through a garden hose. Eventually, it's going to burst. Something had to change. And that's where the Navi Mumbai International Airport comes in. The Navi Mumbai International Airport isn't just about easing the load on Mumbai's current airport. It's about propelling India into the future of aviation. It's a symbol of ambition and a catalyst for economic growth. Picture an airport that seamlessly integrates with the futuristic Mumbai Hyderabad high-speed rail line. Talk about connectivity. Imagine the breathtaking view from above. The terminal building is inspired by the lotus flower, India's national symbol. It promises to be a sight to behold. This airport is gargantuan. By 2032, after all four construction phases are complete, it has the potential to handle a staggering 60 million passengers per year. And let's not forget those businesses relying on air transport. The airport will be equipped to move a mind-blowing 2.5 million tons of cargo annually. Now, the question on everyone's mind, can this ambitious project be completed? There have been delays and hurdles, but things are back on track. Phase 1, the most crucial part, is aiming to be completed by December 2024. This colossal project sprawls across a mind-boggling 2,900 hectares, that's over 7,000 acres. Each of the two runways will stretch a massive 3,700 meters long and 60 meters wide, capable of handling the largest commercial aircraft in the world. This airport is big, but how big exactly? The terminal building itself will cover a vast 2,500,000 square meters, a bustling hub of activity. And for all those goods moving through the region, there are dedicated cargo terminals spanning a combined 100,000 square meters, ensuring the smooth flow of trade. 
Within this vast expanse, engineers are conquering challenges and reshaping the landscape to create a marvel of modern aviation. Located east of Mumbai City in the Raigad district, the airport site originally had a major obstacle, the Ulwe River. This large, winding blue line, that's the Ulwe River, a natural waterway that originally flowed right through the planned location for the airport's runways and terminals. Building an airport on top of a river would be a recipe for disaster. Flooding during heavy rains could cripple operations and threaten safety, so the engineers had to come up with a creative solution. Here's where things get impressive. Step 1. Rerouting the river They didn't try to dam the river or block its flow. Instead, they devised a plan to divert it. Imagine a new path being carved out for the river, a brand new channel over 3.2 kilometers long. This new course carefully guided the river away from the airport site. Step 2. Making it bigger and better But simply rerouting the river wasn't enough. The engineers understood that during heavy monsoon seasons, the river could overflow its banks, causing flooding in the surrounding areas, including the new airport. Their solution? Widening and deepening the river channel. Think of it like expanding a highway. A wider and deeper riverbed could handle a larger volume of water, reducing the risk of flooding. Imagine bulldozers and excavators carefully carving out a new, wider path for the river. This increased the river's capacity to handle heavy rain without overflowing its banks. It's a win-win situation. The airport is protected from flooding and the surrounding villages downstream are also safer from potential overflows. By meticulously planning and executing this river diversion project, the engineers ensured the long-term success of the Navi Mumbai International Airport. The challenges didn't stop there. A significant hill, filled with millions of cubic meters of rock, rose directly in the path of progress. This imposing rock formation stood directly in the path of the planned southern runway for the Navi Mumbai International Airport. To create a level base for the runways, the majority of this hill had to be removed. Engineers faced a daunting task. How do you safely demolish a towering hill surrounded by villages? This is where controlled blasting comes into play. Traditional demolition with bulldozers and explosives would have been too risky in such a populated area. The vibrations and noise could damage nearby structures and disturb residents. Instead, engineers used a highly precise and calculated approach. Imagine a series of carefully drilled holes strategically placed throughout the rock face of the hill. These holes were filled with specialized explosives designed to fracture the rock in a controlled manner. In a series of carefully orchestrated blasts, sections of the hill were broken down into manageable chunks. With each blast, the imposing hill shrank, making way for the airport's construction. Now, let's talk about connectivity. The Navi Mumbai International Airport isn't just about flights, it's about integration with wider transportation networks. A dedicated high-speed rail line will whisk passengers directly between the new airport and the existing Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport, creating a seamless travel experience. This connection is crucial, allowing passengers to easily transfer between domestic and international flights. And that's not all. The massive Mumbai Trans Harbor Link MTHL project, a 21.8 kilometer six lane highway, will provide a direct road connection to Mumbai. Imagine zooming across this bridge, bypassing the city's traffic, and reaching the airport with ease. The Navi Mumbai International Airport isn't just transforming the landscape, it's designed to leave a lighter footprint. A substantial on-site solar energy farm will provide clean power, reducing the airport's reliance on traditional energy sources. And while sleek jets will be the stars of the show, a fleet of electric vehicles will buzz around the terminals, ensuring ground operations are as eco-friendly as possible. Did it leave you impressed? Let us know in the comments below! And if you enjoyed this journey, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content, and hit that notification bell.